Get more from your core is a topic from today. Dear participants, um, I'm pleased to welcome you to our webinar about the DMT core logging system CoreScan. My name is Knut Hirsch. I'm your moderator today. But the main characters are Dr. Jens Wiegand, manager of the DMT core uh, scan system, and Carlos Garcia Pina, who is our product manager and developer of the core scan system as such. In our webinar, we will share features, advantages, benefits of the system, technical insights, as well as some of the innovations um, that will be launched soon. Um, before we start, I will introduce some organiza organizational issues. Uh, the chat is the main communication channel between uh, you and us. Uh, if you have any question during the course of the webinar, please paste it in there, write it directly into the chat window. If you like to have the recordings of this webinar, please paste it, chat, or, uh, write it into the chat window. And the same, if you would like to um, receive the presentation of today, please write it into the chat window as well. Um, as already said, this webinar um, is recorded, um, and you as the audience are not uh, visible there. So your um, uh, the data protection regulations are kept here, no, uh, no problem at all. Um, we would like to encourage you to ask questions at any time, but please use the uh, chat window as well. And I will ask your question on your behalf at the end of the presentation to our ex experts. I think that's pretty it. Um, have a lot of fun. And Jens, please uh, start the show. Yeah, thank you, Knut, for the introduction. So, as Knut said, um, we, Carlos Garcia Pina and, and me, we will um, share this presentation. I will start the hardware part and then pass over to Carlos, who will um, introduce you um, to you the software part. So, get more from your core. Um, so, that's the um, headline of today. And we want to introduce to you um, our um, quite famous. Um, drill core scanner um, course and the core scan system. So the um, the core scan system we developed uh, already in 1995. So it's now more than 25 years. We have experience in that field, and um, it's basically it consists out of um, the drill core scanner, the core scan three, three because it's now the third generation. Then we have uh, developed a CoreScan UV. This is a UV light imaging tool. And then we have a software part and analyzing software database, um, which completes um, the whole um, part. The main tasks of the CoreScan system is, of course, the first one would be just a digitalization of your drill core in the highest quality that's available. Um, then we have, uh, you can create your own database, not only for your drill core scans, for the images, but also for all data which is collected along the core or which is collected along the borehole. Um, so you can say you have a, a virtual drill core archive. You can create that. It's a logging tool. You can log um, using um, the database and the um, core images. But of course, it's better to combine both, not only the um, images, but also the um, physical core when you do the logging. Um, you can do structural analysis qualitatively and quantitatively. Um, then geotechnical analysis, like our three value calculation, is done automatically. And uh, it's a UV fluorescence imaging device. Let's go first to the drill core scanner itself, to the core scan three. You have um, the highest resolution um, images, which are um, acquired by a line scan camera. This is um, a special technique uh, we developed. And if you compare it to a digital area camera, we have something like 140 megapixel, 
which is not available with a digital area camera, there it stops something at 50 or 60 megapixel. So you get really good um, images. Um, a unique feature is the 360 degree scanning. But if your core is broken or you have a slept core, um, or you want to scan even entire core boxes, um, then you can scan in what we call a planar um, mode and you can scan um, these core as well very quickly. Um, especially for the latter um, mode uh, to scan um, entire core boxes, um, we developed an automatic core box logger. I will show that with another slide later. Um, the system is quite mobile. Um, it's packed and unpacked within one hour. You have a transportation box and you can easily transport it uh, from one side to another. You can, um, you can um, operate it um, on site, for example, here in a container um, on site. So it's made for rough uh, conditions, but as well for laboratory um, environment as well. To show you a little bit um, how the scanner is uh, working, is operating, we have a small movie and I hope you can see the movie. So uh, you will see first the, okay, that's still the DMT logo, but now you see the DMT core scan 3. And when you want to scan in the planner mode, um, for example, full core boxes, entire core boxes, you can put up to one meter core boxes on the scanner and then the lines can takes an image quite fast. If you have larger core boxes, five foot core boxes, for example, you can make two images and they are automatically stitched together to one image. Let's come to the 360 degree of scanning. There you can put up to one meter core on the rollers. They are rotating and the line um, camera takes an image. So that's the principle how it's working. Okay, so we said um, the resolution is, is quite good. Um, we um, divided into a standard resolution and into a higher resolution. In the standard resolution, uh, we have five or 10 pixel per millimeter, up to 20 pixel per millimeter in the 360 degree mode. In the high resolution, uh, we can provide um, 40 pixel per millimeter. That's really a very high resolution, like um, if you look with a binocular onto your core. So to our experience, um, the standard resolution with 10 pixel per millimeter, it, this is uh, used by most of our, of our clients and the high resolution is not for um, scanning um, entire cores, but um, for um, scanning details which are interesting and where you want to have a closer look. Uh, here's an example. You can see uh, the bigger image. This is five pixel per millimeter resolution and here, this detail is here with scanned with 40 pixel per millimeter. But this is just to give you an impression um, of the resolution you get. Okay, that's uh, the um, 360 degree um, scanning mode. So this uh, is a, um, the, yeah, the mode which is unique and uh, you scan um, the core um, up to one meter in one image. Here to the left side, um, you scan the full circumference and here uh, it's flattened out. You saw you get a rectangular image. You can fold it again to get a better image of your um, impression of your core. So it's like a um, virtual physical core. Um, if you scan in the planner mode, then this is made if you have slept core, you can put it on the rollers and scan um, one meter in one image, but you can scan, as we said, full core boxes. So those are up to a depth of 65 centimeters if you and a length of uh, one meter and 15 centimeters. If you have larger ones, I just said it, um, you can um, scan in two images and um, they are stitched together to one image. Yeah, for this, um, core box scanning, we have uh, developed an automatic core box logger. Um, this is in the beginning of your um, campaign. Uh, you define in the software, in the, um, in the acquisition software, you define uh, your core box dimensions. So you virtually, you um, 
build a mask. And this mask is then applied to all subsequent um, scans you make. So you then you scan just one core box after the other, after the other, and um, you uh, get automatically uh, um, a continuous core image profile. You can edit this, you can edit the depth, you can delete parts of it, you can change everything inside. So you have the full um, control about your um, scans you did. Yeah, the scanning speed is a question which comes quite often. So um, in both modes, 360 degree as well as planar mode, it's about 20 to 30 seconds. Um, that comes to um, uh, scanning progress in the 360 degree mode, something like um, up to 200 meters per, per shift. In the planar mode, um, then depends on if you scan full core boxes and if you have, for example, 10 meters of core in one core box, then you can achieve a, um, a progress up to 1,000 meter um, drill core per day. Um, so another standalone instrument is the um, CoreScan UV. This is equipped with UV and white light um, LEDs and with a um, digital area camera with a um, CMOS sensor, a full frame CMOS sensor, uh, and with a resolution of 50 megapixel. So this gives you very good images, not as good as the CoreScan 3, but good images as well. And we developed the um, UV lights by ourselves. And this guarantees that uh, you have a minimum of light scattering and ghosting under the UV light. Um, of course, you have a um, um, safety circuit. Um, nevertheless, um, the UV light is not very dangerous. It's about 360 degree nanometer. So this is um, quite OK. Uh, uh, but um, when you open under UV operation, the doors, the front doors, then the UV light will be stopped. Uh, what, what's an advantage? You can mix the UV and white light images uh, between zero and 100%. So if you see nothing in your, in your um, images uh, under UV light, you can enhance a little bit uh, white light to the, to the image and then you see at least um, the contours. So this gives you the control to, um, to make um, good, um, good images as well. Yeah, this is an example um, from hydrocarbon exploration under white light, under UV light. And here you see um, where the oil is uh, in the core. They are dark, the dark parts. And in, under UV, you see the UV fluorescence of um, the um, oil staining parts. Um, the latest uh, development of oh, that's about uh, two years ago already. It's um, additional um, LED illumination. And that especially if you want to scan your drill core under wet conditions. So this minimizes the um, reflectance of the drill core. And we use here um, special um, LEDs. They are coming from museum technology, which are used in, uh, in museums uh, to highlight um, um, the pictures. And uh, we have almost um, um, daylight quality. So we have a color rendering index of 95%. Ah, yeah. Now we are coming to the um, software part, and I want to pass over to my colleague, Carlos. Okay, Jens, uh, thanks a lot. Um, so the thing is, uh, if we imagine the CoreScan system running on-site, acquiring this uh, big amount of images uh, on a daily uh, manner, like, uh, for example, up to several hundreds of meters uh, per day, the question in a big uh, drill core logging campaign uh, is also how to handle these images and uh, how to fur further process them and uh, um, well, uh, how to manage all this data. And uh, we have our uh, software Corebase. Corebase is a digital drill core library. It's a database uh, which uh, has an option uh, or a module to, to log the core directly in the database. 
and to integrate any type of uh, drill core or drill hole related data and where you can have uh, on-site uh, accessibility to this data as well as display the data in a digi digital log sheet as we see here uh, for proper uh, control or overview of the data from your drill hole container. This is an example of the hierarchical structure of the uh, digital drill core library, where we see here on the left side, we have a company name, a location, there is the drill hole ID, the different core runs, and the single images taken by the core scan 3. So you have a fast, efficient uh, accessibility, online accessibility to your high resolution image and all the data that is uh, uh, relevant. Uh, of interest. This is an example of the digital log sheet where we see on the left side here we see a continuous uh, uh, drill core image log. So that means all the images that are taken with the core scan 3 either in the 360 degree mode or in the planar mode they are stitched uh, automatically together to a continuous uh, drill core image strip. Uh, inside this uh, drill core image, image strip, you can do a depth adjustment and the orientation of the drill core by rotating the image, the 360 degree image. A part of that, you can, uh, you can import the borehole deviation data so that in the end, you have a true north oriented uh, drill core image. Based on that image, you can do a strat structural mapping with a picking routine where you can define different uh, classes of uh, structures discontinuities, joints, beddings, veins, uh, uh, whatever. And uh, the data is uh, stored inside the database and can also be displayed in form of a tadpole or in a stereographic projection, as we see here. And automatically, you get the derivation of the uh, geotechnical parameters like RTV, uh, fracture density or fracture spacing. All the data that is uh, generated inside the, the software uh, can be exported to, to standard 3D modeling software uh, through Excel files or any ASCII format. But you can also integrate external data. As we see here, we have the gamma ray uh, downhole survey or the elemental concentrations from, uh, from the assay data. Uh, this is an example of a visualization of the structures. Now a close up where you see just a short section of the core image and you can define different classes of structures. You can uh, give them some attributes like uh, spacing, uh, infill, weathering, uh, uh, the persistence or something in order to classify a, a certain uh, discontinuity or type of, of structure. And here we see uh, uh, how such a drill core image orientation can take place. We see on the left side here the core image, drill core image taken by the core scan 3. And on the right side, it's a downhole lock with a resistivity lock. It's a FMI and downhole from a hydrocarbon exploration where you see the bedding. And so you can adjust the depth and the orientation of the core according to the uh, to the ground truth data that you get from the from the borehole. So it's a brief overview uh, uh, of how to handle your, your core images and uh, especially uh, focus now and to highlight the advantages of using the core scan 3 compared to conventional uh, uh, drill core photography is uh, that we gain a much higher resolution. It's a uh, 240 megapixels, which is uh, much higher than a, than a standard uh, camera that is used for standard photography. Of course, we have the 360 degree imaging uh, uh, solution, which is uh, especially important for geotechnical reasons, but also for uh, hydrocarbon explorations and, and others. We have no geometrical image distortion, so you have uh, in each direction always a one-to-one -one relation. And uh, there is no light reflections on the on the core samples. And uh, when scanning the core box, we have the automatic uh, process that uh, we generate a, a continuous profile of drill core out of a box scan. 
and we had uh, uniform light conditions, uh, not depending on daytime or daylight or other external light sources. So up to here, it's a very brief overview of our uh, CoreScan 3 system, our existing CoreScan 3 system. As Jan said, we started uh, commercializing this system in the mid 90s and now this is the third generation uh, which uh, finds uh, a lot of applications in especially in the documentation and digitalization of, of drill core and uh, helped us over the almost a uh, few decades to make it, it uh, the the leading device in, in drill core digitalization worldwide now. Um, this is all up to here. Uh, I think we can make a kind of interactive uh, question round now. And uh, thank you for your attention so far. Thank you, Jens, for the hint. Uh, thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Jens, for this very interesting presentation about DMT's core logging system. Um, some questions already came in and I would uh, ask these on the behalf of the audience to wait away. Please, any other, if any other question occurs, post it into the chat window. I have to access the current ones. So here we are. Um, can we operate the scanner on drill site, e.g. in a container or similar uh, mobile environment? Yes, I can answer to that. Um, yes, that's um, one thing the scanner is designed for. So it's uh, designed for rough conditions. It's designed for operating it on drill site in a container. Um, so um, this is done, in, in fact, and uh, there's um, nothing nothing against it. So it's a, um, it's a usual um, application for, for the drill core scanner. And um, so the only thing is um, the um, door to the container must be um, 75 centimeters wide, then you get, can get it in. Um, but usually the doors are one meter wide, so it's no problem at all. Okay, thank you, Jens. Uh, another question, do you sell the equipment only or can we rent the equipment or can you make even the service for us? Yeah, yeah that, that's a good question. Um, so we are open to all three possibilities. So we, of course we sell the equipment. This goes together with the training we provide. Um, at these times uh, we are doing, on, uh, we are doing um, online trainings, um, but we, if it's possible, we travel to the, to the site we um, start then with the training with a real drill core from the clients, and um, but we rent the the system as well. And for first time users, we provide training as well. This is uh, almost mandatory, but it's um, also highly recommended. For um, the third um, part for the service, that's um, if you um, want to start with the core scan system and want to see how it's done and what are the results and if you have not too many meters then the service would be the best option so then we would take over everything would take care of everything we would scan we would do the analysis and we would give you the results but here we have also the possibilities that we doing the scanning and the analysis and you are helping us with the analysis or you can overtake the analysis after a while so we are open to um, almost um, all situa situations okay understood uh, do you have other sensors than the line scan camera available yeah, that's uh, Carlos. He uh, is there the main part, and he can perhaps explain a little bit about that. Uh, well, of course, uh, um, the, the 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 trend in the, the, the last years and almost a good decade is uh, to get uh, analytical sensors to do uh, uh, analytical approach. Uh, we, we at DMT we distinguish between the the uh, descriptive. Uh, tool that we have with our CoreScan 3 system 
for digitalization and uh, drill call description and uh, another work package that we have that is uh, uh, analytical uh, uh, approach yeah and we are currently developing uh, such a instrumentation and process which is a multi-sensor drill core scanner and uh, 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 drill core scanning service also uh, where we have analytical sensors uh, that uh, can derive uh, chemical and mineralogical drill core compositions and I don't know who maybe we have do we have some slides there yeah I, I think, think the backup slides I switch to the presentation again and okay yes that's it exactly yeah, so the, the, the current development uh, here at uh, DMT is uh, called Encolog. Encolog is the abbreviation for analytical core logger. It is a multi sensor based uh, approach in automatization of a drill core log. And different, uh, for different um, uh, segments like uh, mining exploration, but also hydrocarbons or uh, even for, for some geotechnical uh, issues. Um, let's see what we have here. There is, um, well, the Encolog project is a project funded by the European Union. Uh, we have different partners. We have a consortium who's working on this uh, development. It's a uh, DMT as a pro project leader and responsible for the product development and commercialization. Uh, together with LTU Business AB from Sweden. Then we have uh, uh, partners from uh, Data Fusion and Data Processing is the University of Liège in Belgium. It's the German Geological Survey, GR, and Fraunhofer in Germany. We have then some sensor specialists who, who are uh, responsible for the adaptation of existing technology to the requirements of the uh, exploration market, which is uh, uh, VTT and TimeGate from Finland, they integrate a, a very novel uh, Raman technology. Uh, we have JNC Bachmann from South, South Germany, they do uh, XRF sensor integration and LTB from Berlin, they do the integration of uh, uh, LIPS technology. And also part of the consortium is uh, Andrew's advisory board, which is a Matza mining and exploration company with activities in in the Iberian Pirate Belt in South Spain, uh, the uh, Geological Survey of Finland, GTK, and uh, Katura Geo Project from France, and KGH and Kuprum from, from Poland is also part of that. So this is just to, to uh, make you know that it's not us alone, but it's a good and strong consortium, and everybody needs their credit as well. So, Encolog, just a brief overview. We're going to go through a few slides uh, quickly. Encolog is a dual core scanner as well as a core scan. So, it's a, it's a kind of a part of the product uh, line core scan at DMT. It's a multi sensor dual core scanner with a, uh, multi, uh, with a modular combination of uh, analytical sensors. Uh, we are integrating uh, X ray fluorescent and laser induced breakdown spectroscopy for the uh, an, uh, chemical analysis of the drill core. Then we use uh, hyperspectral imaging in the visible to shortwave infrared region, as well as time gate Raman technology for the mineral, mineralogy of the drill core. And we derive the textural pro properties and an image segmentation by a uh, high resolution RGB camera, as well as the hyperspectral uh, uh, imaging camera. We have another very interesting and promising technology, but which is uh, uh, still uh, uh, being used uh, recently, which is uh, all the surface measurements will be interpolated to the full rock volume of the drill core by using uh, multi-energy X-ray transmission spectroscopy and to verify whether the data that we collect on the surface are representative for the rock, full uh, rock volume. Um, the workflow is like we use the hyperspectral and RGB line cameras in order to do an initial segmentation of the drill core images uh, or the drill core sections into, um, uh, into a segmentation into regions of similar, uh, uh, 
similar response, similar spectral response. It's a so-called supervised classification where we say we have a certain uh, response here, certain uh, 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 characteristics of the uh, uh, interval, and we teach the system to know what what type of rock it might be. So it's a supervised classification. Now this is the initial step. And then we add a uh, different sensor data to it, for example, the XRF sensor, which takes a continuous uh, profile of five millimeter width along the drill core with variable uh, integration times, which lead to variable uh, spatial resolutions. Okay. And so we have a continuous XRF uh, uh, log of the core, which gives us uh, an idea of the chemical composition of the, the drill core. Uh, and also the laser-induced uh, breakdown spectroscopy, which is also uh, doing the uh, chemical uh, drill core analysis, but it's a kind of uh, a good addition to the XRF or vice versa, uh, because with both uh, uh, technologies we cover a wider range of elements that are detectable. And uh, the special thing of the lip sensor, which is very, still very novel in in, in uh, geology and uh, drill core analysis is that uh, it has a very small uh, measurement spot of uh, around about 200 micrometers, but we are able to do up to 70 measurements per second. So this allows us to do uh, different scan modes. Uh, we can do uh, different uh, uh, profiles along the drill core or select regions of uh, interest that are detailed, uh, mapped in detail giving you the, the chemical composition of a, a small area or uh, different uh, on-the-fly measurements which give you an integrated value for, for, for uh, different uh, spots. And then there is the other technology, the time gets Raman sensor. This is also quite novel technology which, which has been uh, developed by uh, our Finnish partners, uh, BTT and time gated Raman. Uh, the, the, for them who know the, the classical Raman and the pro, uh, problem or the, the, the challenge with the fluorescence from the uh, samples is that uh, time gap Raman only measures the Raman signal in, a, in the first nanosecond of, uh, after excitation, uh, before the fluorescence signal starts. Uh, so this allows us to, to, to get a very clear Raman signal with it, and we are currently developing the automated uh, uh, correlation of the uh, measured uh, Raman shift with uh, standard libraries in order to do an automatic uh, uh, mineralogical compositional uh, analysis with that sensor. So there's a lot of sensors that, that we use it's, uh, for, and there are even some others. It's like a sensor platform that what we are developing. And uh, all of the sensor data flows into a common database where we apply together with the University of Computers. We do uh, some uh, machine learning algorithms and artificial intelligence in order to, uh, based on this multi-sensor data, to define classes of interest, which can be lithologies or alteration zones. It can be certain mineral or geochemical drill core compositions. And uh, so that in the end, we have a classification scheme which is adapted to any exploration site or, or well, the end user's requirement. Yeah? And uh, of course, all this data again, where we have then, you see, you see here a strip of the different classes, for example, ecologies, alteration zones, and this is from a case study. We are working currently on case studies. The project is still under development and will finish by the end of the year. Uh, we are currently developing uh, uh, extends case studies uh, and uh, uh, all of this data is of course then again running into our core base uh, software which is the, the database that uh, facilitates you online accessibility and a good uh, overview of your data. So this is, uh, as we said, this is the current development that we are driving here at, at, at DMT and uh, we are foreseeing to uh, commercialize it in, in 2022. Okay, thank you, Carlos, for the insight into the future development that will come soon. Uh, some other questions came in. Are data of gamma ray logging and other geophysical parameters added to the software? 
So, um, Carlos, yeah. Yeah, okay, yes, you, of course, uh, Corebase can integrate any data, external data from downhole surveys, essays, whatever, or uh, data directly from the drill core. Uh, you can, uh, uh, there is a um, uh, LAS importer where you have a, uh, where you can directly import LAS files from the downhole survey into Corebase. The, the, the point when you do it uh, doesn't matter. You can do it before you scan the drill core or afterwards. So you can create your project, the drill holes, and import the log, uh, logging uh, standards, the last files uh, of uh, your downhole service. And uh, so there is direct import for this uh, type of file. Okay, thank you. What extra things need to be done for structural analysis? Um, for structural analysis. Okay, so um, I can answer this question. Um, you have to define your structures, and that is done uh, by three mouse clicks. So you define the structure on your images in the database, and it goes very quickly. You need three mouse clicks. Perhaps we can go to the presentation and can show you. Yeah, I think here it's, it's enough. So you see here structures which are taken, and this is with one, you see the structures in, in um, the database, and with one, two, or three mouse clicks, you define a structure. It must be a planner structure, and then the data is directly stored. And Carlos told us um, that we can rotate the core, we can shift it up and down, and every movement um, is applied to the picked structures as well. And Carlos said al also that we can um, import the borehole um, deviation. So, and all these um, things which are done, they are correct, they are. Um, uh, they will correct the uh, picked structures as well. So the structure you pick are finally um, like uh, in the bedrock, um, in um, yeah, in the bedrock. So um, you pick the structures and then you define if it's a bedding or if it's a mechanical break or if it's a joint or anything. You can um, add uh, attributes to it if it's rough or uh, if it's an open structure, you need not. Um, but um, the one thing you have to do is you have to pick the structure and this is done in uh, two or three seconds. Okay, thank you. Um, does the score scan three system support short wave infrared hyperspectral imaging systems? So in the core scan three, we have, um, um, it's a line scan camera. This is in the visible light, so it goes not to the, um, shortwave infrared. Therefore, we have new developments uh, which Carlos presented in Ancolog. And there uh, we have uh, um, near infrared, shortwave uh, infrared um, camera, um, which goes at the moment up to 2,500 nanometers, Carlos. Yeah, yeah exactly. Theoretically, you can, you can add uh, any wave, existing wavelength uh, cameras onto it. But our data processing is now uh, dealing with uh, with the spectrum up to 2,500 nanometers, so uh, shortwave infrared spectrum. Yes, from the visible to to the shortwave infrared spectrum. Okay. Uh, another more or less typical question: What is the price of the scanner? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I expected that. Um, so. Of course, we cannot uh, speak here about prices, but uh, you're open to contact us uh, with a mail and then we can discuss about that. And so we have many different options you, you see. So there's not uh, one defined price. Uh, so it depends what you want to do, if you want to lease or rent or uh, if you buy it, uh, the service. So it doesn't matter. Um, we can do it, but uh, we have to discuss that uh, with more um, information. Okay. Thank you so far. That's it as far as I can see. Yeah. Thank you, Jens. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, audience. It was a pleasure for us to introduce this information about the 
core scan system. Um, it would be a pleasure for us to see you again in one of the following webinars. And I guess we will have additional webinars on our geophysical uh, products as well. So uh, stay safe and have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.